Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing Oxygen Not Included. Um, so last episode we finally got our electrolyzer up and running. It is you know fixing itself which is great and as you can see by the levels of our natural gas uh, we were getting dangerously close to running out of oxygen. The next thing we're going to do is probably let these oxygen diffusers run for a little bit just until we get um, some more, so a better oxygen overlay. Obviously this is our pipe coming in um, and then we have these from our uh, what diffusers down here but for the most part of this it is breathable gas. Bre breathable gas? <laughs> but it would be better if it was, uh, you know like this color all over. So we'll let these run for a little bit. The next task on our list of things to do is to break out of our biome and we're gonna head in this direction, but we are going to um, make a little uh, airlock so that way uh, it's, it's, it's better. It's better all around. Um, so we'll dig out this one and we will do an insulated tile here, 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 okay. I believe that is correct. And we will dig these out. And we will put a bottle emptier facing this way. And this is going to be our airlock because obviously we have some slime lung and a bunch of other stuff that we don't want getting into the base and creating a water airlock is going to be a good solution to that. Oh look, already we got some oxygen. Great. <laughs> it was really scary. I'm sure you guys, I'm not sure how I'm going to edit it, but it was very, very scary. Okay. I thought we all of our duplicates were going to die. We were going to have another short season. Um, because <laughs> I couldn't get the oxygen up and running. This hatch is now elderly, so let's go ahead and attack him. There they go, blasting him again. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and get that barbecue cooked up, fill up our uh, calories a little bit. It's so nice to see our dupes just eating, happily eating, <laughs> without breathing. Well, besides her, she had something grisly, but these, not so much, all right? Then they run over here to uh, the toilets and they have fully functioning toilets. They have our, their cots up here as well. And I think they'll be able to actually fall asleep tonight <laughs> and rest peacefully without, uh, you know, not have any, anything to breathe. Let's see if any of them wake up prematurely. Okay, they slept through the night. That is fantastic. We love to see it. Um, okay, so I went ahead and put water here for the bottle emptier. And before we dig out into this area, I want to make sure we have a good airlock going. And I disabled the other bottle emptier, so hopefully they uh, get this all situated. All right, I think we are almost there. Maybe one more cycle with all the diffusers of oxygen and then we will be set. This is on its way forward. Fantastic. All right, so <laughs> by the time I built this long line of water over here, I figured out a couple things. All right, if you put polluted water in here, the polluted water will off gas and then at that point, it'll just slowly decrease the amount of water in here, not creating a very solid airlock. Okay, number one. Two, if you want duplicates to put water here, you just have to hit enable auto bottle and then they'll bring it over there. Just in case you're like me and just didn't know completely. So we finally have this airlock up and running. I'm pretty sure, let's just check the oxygen. Okay. It looks, it looks sealed up to me. Um, so we can start building over here. So when I was, it's kind of getting all of this out, we have um, a carbon dioxide vent right here. <laughs> of course, we're just surrounded by all these volcanoes. Um, so yeah, not great. Uh, let's go ahead and just start cracking this open. Um, try to get all of this cleared out. 
as much as we can and uh, hopefully get into this chamber down here without needing a bio scan because I don't know what that is. Um, so yeah, great, 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 great. Um, and we'll build some tiles like here. And then we'll build a ladder like that probably and that should be good it's for digging all of this out and our duplicates are gonna fall asleep but then they should be right ready for it in the morning and here they are digging away like the good dupes that they are and we cracked into the chlorine already um yeah there were germs here from from the slime lung um oh this is food poisoning from the polluted water great that's okay um <laughs> That's fine. But the slime lung should go away now that there's these pockets of chlorine in here. And they are making quick work of these tasks. This one also says it needs to submit a bio scan. I think I'm gonna have to go into the help um, and figure out what, what, the, what the heck is a bio scan and how do we do that? Oh, he's doing it. Oh my gosh. What the heck is that, a morb? are attracted to unhygienic conditions and frequently excrete bursts of polluted oxygen. I guess he's fine for now. What do we got here? Oh. Okay. Uh, let's inspect. After searching through the computer's database, I managed to piece together some files that piqued my interest. Okay. New log entry. I've added the laws of thermodynamics. Nice. Um, what's this? Neural vacillator. Okay, so this is to take things away from people. Um, as we dig down here, we'll be able to see what else we got. And all of this. Unknown liquids. Very scary. Okay, so we unlocked some things. That's good, I guess. Um, let's go in here. I'm just gonna clean up these uh, extra pipes and everything um, now that we don't need them. Up to here, I guess. And so I wonder if we could get into this the whole time. So let's submit a bio scan for that sealed door as well and see if anybody comes running over here. So our clean water is getting a little bit out of hand. Um, somehow we still got food poisoning in there, amazingly. Um, not great, uh, but let's go ahead and turn off our water sieve for a bit and um, that should keep allow us to uh, refill our polluted water tank. Well, even though they're both polluted. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> but let's go ahead and allow... Well, whatever. I don't want to deal with that. I don't know how to deal with that, I should say. So a couple things. I am going to go ahead and come down here and I am going to build a grooming station and a shearing station so that way we don't have to mess with uh, growing pinch of peppas and all that kind of stuff um, and these drecklets will be able to survive like they have been but we'll be able to harvest their um, drecklet fur their scales um, which we can use as reed fiber of course so we've slowly been gaining more calories here which is amazing our ranch far our, our ranching is doing well and here comes Ren to get this up and running open it up and now we should be able to come in here what's this so we can deconstruct it but we it doesn't unlock what it is. Maybe if we demolish that, he can come into that room. It's kind of weird. All right, Ren, are you going to actually... There we go. Thank God. All right, here we can inspect. The computer was wiped almost completely clean, except for one file hidden in the recycle bin. New database entry unlocked. So the facility is introducing this new security system that scans your hand to unlock doors. My question is, what exactly are they scanning? The folks in engineering say the, the door device doesn't look like a fingerprint scanner, but the duo working over in Bioneer 
ne bioengineering won't comment at all. I can't say I like it. Redacted. The Gravatus facility. And then we should be able to, um, we can rummage for usable materials or we can recover files. Hmm. Why don't we do one as rummage and one as inspect? There's a three ring binder inside. I scanned the surviving documents. New database entry. Times arrow thoughts. I've been unable to shake the notion of the bow. The thought of its mechanics are too intriguing and I can only dream of the mark such a device would make upon the world. Imagine, a source of inexhaustible energy. So many of humanity's problems could be solved with this one invention. Domestic energy, environmental pollution, the fuel wars. I have to pursue this dream no matter what. Oh, and then we can also rummage so we can do both. Okay, so let's also hit. Personal journal A046. Gravitas has been growing pretty rapidly since our first product hit the market. I just got a look at some of the new hires. They're practically babies. Not quite what would I was expecting, but then I've never had an opportunity to mentor someone before. Could be fun. Okay, looks like more research or exploration is required for these. Interessant. Well, that I thought was pretty good. Uh, we still haven't been able to get the bioscan up here running, but I am going to go ahead and leave this part here. Thank you so much for joining me on this Let's Play series. Uh, we've cracked our inner biome. We built our inner biome and now we've cracked our inner biome. We got a waterlock airlock to work for us and we were able to enter into this uh, little secret area, which is awesome. We'll have some reed fibers and some drecklets uh, working their way up, hopefully successfully, and we'll continue our climb downwards towards some fossil fuels. Um, as always, check out the description. It has a link to all my social media, including my TikTok, my sticker shop, and my Patreon. My Patreon's $3 a month where you can help support the channel and get your name on the end credits. However, if you'd like to support me for free, I'd really appreciate that. All you have to do is like, comment, and share this video, all of that, uh, and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> all of that helps the YouTube algorithm get my content in front of more people's faces. So until I see you guys again, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.